All right, guys, today we're gonna use the Pro HD from EinScan to scan this camera lens. Now we sell all these scanners at visionminder.com if you're interested, and I'm just gonna go through the workflow, so show you how fast it can be, and a couple little tips and tricks when it comes to objects like this one. So I'm going to go ahead and use the turntable for this scan, so I'm just gonna set that right there in the middle. I'm gonna go into the software and say fixed scan, and non-texture scans, since we don't have the color pack installed right now. Now, and I'm gonna use the turntable and the coded targets, which are those little marks around it on there. I'm gonna do eight different angles. If I go here, it'll blow out a lot more of the colors. If I go all the way down, it won't pick anything up. So I'm gonna get a happy medium in here somewhere or just do HDR, which is gonna do multiple exposures. And I'm gonna hit go. This is a, a black, silver, and reflective part. It's got the lens up there, which is totally reflective. It's probably not gonna pick that up at all. And then the black stuff, it's gonna have a hard time picking it up because it just absorbs all the light and doesn't reflect as much of it back for the scanner to read. So, as you can see, it's picking up eh, a little bit of data, some of the reflections, you know, and whatnot, but it, overall, not very good. Now, as soon as this finishes, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break out some A sub blue. This stuff evaporates with zero residue in about two to four hours, sometimes even less if it's a hot day and it's windy out. But this stuff is a little bit of a magic. One squirt and you're good to go. Uh, so here's our scan, obviously not picking very much up. So I'm just gonna take this, put it on the table, give it a couple mists, directions, get that lens in there. Now the A sub orange is actually a little bit thinner than this one. We're gonna grab it or it won't matter. Uh, it, this is, I believe, eight to 15 nanometers uh, microns in thickness and the orange is like seven. And then we actually have an A sub yellow, which is, I believe, less than one micron if you're doing real metrology grade level uh, scanning. But if I just go here and apply, and then I'm going to scan it again. Now it should have no problem picking up all that stuff. There you go, as you can see. <laughs> yeah, that's doing a lot better job right out the gate. So A sub is something I really like to just keep on hand. We've got transparent orange, white cap, the green stuff, which you actually put in a sprayer, and then the yellow's coming out very soon. But just as a tool in the tool belt, it, you know, it evaporates in no time at all with no residue. So you don't have to clean your parts afterwards. And it makes scanning with any 3D scanner significantly easier. Maybe you've got an R-Tech, maybe you've got a Ferro, maybe you've got a Scantech. This stuff works with everything and just applies a matte finish for the projected light to reflect back easily. So as we can see here, we picked up a lot more than previously. We got a couple angles down here, so I could just flip it right over and then just spray it while it's on the turntable so you can see what happens. It's actually gonna pick up a lot of the table now. And we're blocking some of the markers. We'll see how well it picks that up if we just do it down and dirty like this. I'm gonna hit apply. Not terrible. I'm just gonna hit scan again. That's gonna go around again. It's gonna get that whole bottom section, and then we can immediately align them by feature. It's not perfectly symmetrical from top to bottom, so it should have an easy time aligning those two halves, those two scans. And here we go. Let's see what we did. So we got the whole group. I'm actually going to separate these ones into a new group so that now, so we can see that's the first, that's the second scan, and this was the first scan. So. A sub making a huge difference. When you're using the turntable, the accuracy on this uh, or the point distance, the resolution is about 0.2 millimeters. So you're getting really, really high accuracy. Honestly, a lot of the time for most industrial customers, you don't actually need below one millimeter for most projects, especially if you're reverse engineering. The accuracy is always the same uh, no matter what resolution you do. So I can scan a three millimeter point distance and I'm still getting that 0 0.04 millimeter accuracy. And then of course volumetric ac accuracy, which is from the center point out per meter, you're losing maybe uh, 0 0.05 millimeters to 0 0.1 millimeters, depending which scanner you're using. So that's something to consider for really large scans. 
But here we go, processing, and look at that. All right, this is my third scan. And of course, we all saw the first one without any A-sub. So if you've got a scanner and you're having a hard time with it or it doesn't pick up good enough, you know, all the data points or it just doesn't work, a lot of times this stuff literally changes the whole game and makes it just work. Uh, again, you can get this at visionminer.com slash ASUB. So let's go in, do the global optimization that removes a bunch of extra points. And I'm gonna go mesh the model. I'm gonna do unwater tight and apply. I've noticed that usually once I actually mesh the model, that's when I really get to see the detail that it got. It's kind of hard to see just the point clouds, but if we go into here, all right, here we go. So you can see it's actually picking up some of these numbers and everything that's on the side. It's pretty fine. Uh, for something like this, I could use the Einscan HX in laser mode or even a higher resolution. I did this at one millimeter, I believe. So that's how quick and how easy it is to scan something on the Pro HD with the turntable and a little bit of A sub, even if it's a difficult part that's got, you know, reflective lenses and dark areas and some light areas and really fine details. Now, if I really wanted to get the super fine details on this, I'm either gonna use the Einscan HX in laser mode because it's got down to 0 0.05 millimeter point distance, uh, which is the resolution. So it'd probably pick up all these nubs a little bit better. It might even get this, these indentations and this text a little bit better. But if I really wanted to get all the details on this, I would go with something like the auto scan and spec, which only works for objects about the size of a softball or smaller, but it gets down to 10 micron accuracy and resolution, which is gonna get a lot more of these fine details. All these are available on visionminer.com slash scanners. If you got any questions, definitely reach out. Uh, we love hearing from you guys and hearing the stories and finding out what you're really doing with scanners and we'll help you guide, we'll help guide you in towards the right scanner for your application. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a comment down below with what you want us to scan next. Have a positive rest of your day and I'll see you on the next video.